let's catch up on some food reviews and what else we've been doing down here in Florida. The following movie is rated I. So my wife is five foot. Four eleven and a half. Flip this shock around so that I could get to that adjustment. And I backed it all the way to the end of the thread and put it back in that way. I don't know why they don't want you to adjust it. Yeah, the spring is loose when it's unloaded. It literally dropped that bike by almost two inches by doing that. So now we can ride. Are you ready, Mama? Uh, All right. Whoa. Oh, oh, see? <laughs> now you finally got what sugar sand feels like. Try to stay in the uh, tire tracks. Mama's doing good. The shock looked like it's working. Hey, kitty, kitty. We'll move the handlebars back a little bit to fit her T-Rex arms. Ding, fries are done. Badass biker. <laughs> Just like riding a bike, you never forget. That fits you good now, we lowered that shock. Yeah. Seat's a little low for pedaling, but you wouldn't be able to touch the ground the other way. Then you don't have the number up high enough for your left thumb. Push up. Oh. That's pedal assist is the number on a gauge. Well, one's electric and one's mechanical. Ah. Well, let off. <laughs> That's the... That's the cat in style. If it has a torque assist, then it goes however much you push it. But yeah, that thing's fast in number two and three. It takes off. To stop the motor, all you got to do is squeeze the brake just a little bit. Floor it. Dogs are coming. I'm on a Kettles dual hub bike. She's on a Magicycle Deer Mini. First time riding on the road with an e-bike because they're all kind of tall. But like I showed, I reversed that shock and lowered the spring all the way down. She never fit on any of the other e-bikes. Now we can load them up and go to parks and stuff. Yeah, the biggest problem with the pedal assist is that, you know, it always has that like one second lag to start and stop. So it gets you nervous, like you start pedaling, right? And then it takes a second, it takes off and when you stop pedaling, it's still going. So it makes you nervous. It, it has that little bit of lag. Doggy saying hi. Yeah, look at this place on the left. They got like an old bunch of old cars and looks like no one's been in there in forever. They even had a vet there, see it? And I wonder why they didn't mount the shock that way so you can adjust the spring. It definitely dropped it about two inches. Oh, you hear him? He's talking to you. Yeah, hi. We stop and say hi to little baby goats. What's up, baby goats? <laughs> oh, aren't they cute? Look at them. They're just babies. <laughs> I don't have anything, buddy. I got no food. Hey, last time we come through here, I didn't even notice. Could come over and see them sometimes. I would help. Yeah, all right. We give a donation if they let us see them. I'll help them. I'll throw out some feed. No poop pickup, though. Sorry. I don't pick up poop, but I'll feed them. Yeah. yeah quite a spread. I guess so. How many? How many buildings are in there? One, two, three. Yeah, it must be four. Four buildings. The trailer. Holy cow! They ain't playing around in there. Wow, you did it one-handed. Woo! Getting good. You'll be pulling wheelies and stoppies soon. <laughs> this cactus pole. That's easy to make too. Cute. That's a good idea. You mean dragging your knee around that corner? I 
I didn't even use a bar or battery. Mine said 95%. Oh, yeah, I don't have a percentage bar. I got the meter. That shock is working pretty good, though. Guess that's your bike now. All loaded up and ready to go to my dad's house. See how he likes it. I gave my mom and dad an e-bike so they can do some riding. Tipsy Tarpon, new restaurant just opened up recently. What's the name of this? Oh, it's Tipsy right Tarpon. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty cool little bar they got in the middle, huh? Yeah. Oh. Got a stage. Of course, I recorded all this and my GoPro failed me. And you can dock up to the side. So let's see how this place is. We want to both sit looking at the water. Small menu for now. And we got the cheeseburger and fries. I got the jalapeno poppers. And then I got the blackened shrimp with fries. Poppers are good. How's that burger? Shrimp are tasty. They're actually pretty good. It's nice, it's the only one around here besides going down to Crumps. Now for the real test, the coleslaw. Because you know how some coleslaw tastes pretty nasty. Nah, it's edible, but it's not nowhere near the best I've had for coleslaw. How about you? Yeah, the coleslaw, yeah, no, it's fine. It's, but yeah, it's not the best. Atmosphere we know is 10. It's pretty nice. How about food? Yeah, it's average. So like seven and a half for what it is. You know, it's yeah. not fine dining, but it's pretty good. The burger was way better than the last burger I got, wherever it was. That was no good. Yeah, so and service was okay. We'll definitely come again. Definitely a fun place. The idea of my oh yeah, I okay. see that. Seems like a dangerous idea. Yeah. And I come out, and I got ducked. That's a... Glittery. Glitter duck. <laughs> nice. Geyer's ice cream. Gotta stop for ice cream after a good meal. Checking out Geyer's ice cream place. Make your own donuts. Pretty cool, been wanting to stop here. We're gonna have to come make our own donuts. Ah. They make all their own ice cream, homemade. Pretty good. How's yours? Very good. I got the 222, and you got the 222. Let's see how it is. A little long for waiting on the food. Well, the eggs and the sausage are great. Pancakes are a little bit, I don't know how to describe them. They're thick but dense, not fluffy fluffy. I don't know. The mix wasn't great. It might have been maple syrup. What would you think? It was okay, but the overall experience was lacking. Yeah, very slow. Food, service, yeah, we probably won't be back. Waterfront Social has one of the best smash burgers around. We tried out the crab plant. What an awesome place. This place is always packed. The food was excellent. Well, let's try Glory Days. They got a good menu. What's a wannabe shrimp? Yeah, a wannabe shrimp? Yeah. I don't know. This place is packed. That's a big margarita. Bottomless wings. Pretty good sized wings, too. How big? They're good. Real chicken. Oh, yeah. Steak, steak is good. Yep. All right. Thank you. That is pretty big. Ice cream on the side. Did you want it to go? Nice. So what everybody think? I think they did a good job. They were really attentive. Definitely. For so opening day. I know it's kind of like because it was the first day they were trying to, but when it's a new team, 
and you got that first rush, probably probably did a better than average job, I would think. Yep. What do you think, Mama? Very good. Me too. They hurt my tummy though. Too much food. Oh yeah, bottomless wings. That was that was a lot. The second batch came out a little overdone, but everything in whole was like really good. The service was a ten. Because yeah. your margarita was a little light, and you're like, oh, it's a little light. They're like, oh, we'll get you another one. Yeah, I wasn't making a complaint about it. No, but they asked, asked right? Yep. They went and made a new one. And the food was, it was good. It was real chicken. And I would have gave it like a nine, so I got to give it an eight just because they overcooked the second batch that I got. Well, I think they did good. Went out on a pontoon boat. <laughs> Hey, I'm over here, buddy. We did a little kayaking. It's right there. Then the wife and I went out at the end of Ozillo. <laughs> Jeez, that's the first live conch. We'll put him back in the water. There. That's a nice one. Grow up to be real big. They're not mullet. Look at that little horseshoe crab. I mean, he's dead, but that's a baby. Oh, he's still, he's still good. I'll let you go. That's the first hermit crab I've seen here. Don't be shy. Here he comes. Look at, look, look, look. Don't move. Come on, Mr. Crab. Bite me. Go ahead. What's Gizmo been up to? He's been a badass kitty. Catching lizards. He don't kill them. He got another lizard. You see the black snake? You see him? We got meow meow. What? What you got? You got a lizard. Gizmo's got another lizard. Good boy. Being a kid is a rough life. And my son's cat got curious about a paper bag with handles on it. <laughs> I told you, it's a kid, buddy. Take it! Take it! <laughs> oh, I was just getting the camera. Hit up some estate sales, got some good stuff. Drill press, machinist equipment, and gauges. And a few of us went out on a side by sides and had a little fun.
and my son won the chili competition with my cheap homemade chili recipe at the Coast Guard meeting cookout. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.